Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about Ultrasonic Flow Transmitter in Reverse Osmosis Plant Instrumentation and Control Section. In this video we will study about Types of Ultrasonic Flow Meters how to select an ultrasonic flow meter, advantages and disadvantages, limitations. What is ultrasonic flow meter, working principle of ultrasonic flow meter? Types of ultrasonic flow meters, advantages and disadvantages, how to select an ultrasonic flow meter. Their ultrasonic flow meters are a type of flow meter that use ultrasound technology to measure the flow rate of liquids, gases, and slurries. Ultrasonic flow meters calculate the flow rate by utilizing the speed of sound through a fluid created by transducers mounted to the pipe wall. They are non-intrusive and do not require direct contact with the fluid being measured. Working Principle Ultrasonic flow meters work by transmitting ultrasonic waves through the fluid and measuring the time it takes for the waves to travel a known distance, by comparing the time taken for the waves to travel upstream and downstream, the velocity of the fluid can be calculated. The sound velocity which is a material property value is the propagation velocity of a sound wave in a medium. It changes with the density of the measuring medium. Therefore it is temperature dependent in liquids and pressure and temperature dependent in gases. When a sound impulse is transmitted from location A it arrives at a second, Location B with the velocity of sound at time. The time changes when the sound carrier is also in motion. In fact, it is the sum of the sound velocity in the measuring medium and the measuring medium velocity. This effect is utilized in an ultrasonic flow meter. The formula for calculating the flow rate using an ultrasonic flow meter is based on the principle of time of flight, flow rate equals distance slash time, where distance is the distance between the ultrasonic transducers in the flow meter, time is the time taken for an ultrasonic signal to travel from one transducer to the other. Types of ultrasonic flow meters there are two basic methods for ultrasonic flow measurements, one, transit time method, two, Doppler method. Transit time method, transit time flow meters measure the time it takes for an ultrasonic signal to travel from one transducer to another. This type of flow meter is ideal for measuring clean fluids and can be used to measure both forward and reverse flow. Transit time method. There are two types of transit time ultrasonic flow meters. One, single slash dual path. Two, multiple path. Single slash dual path transit time. In a single slash dual path transit time ultrasonic flow meter, two transducers are placed on opposite sides of the pipe. One transducer sends an ultrasonic signal through the fluid to the other transducer, which receives the signal. The transit time of the signal is measured and the flow rate is calculated based on the difference in transit times between the upstream and downstream signals. Multiple path transit time. In a multiple path transit time ultrasonic flow meter, multiple pairs of transducers are placed around the circumference of the pipe. Each pair sends and receives an ultrasonic signal, and the transit times of each signal are measured. 
The flow rate is calculated based on the difference in transit times between the various paths. Doppler method for ultrasonic flow rate measurements using the Doppler effect there must be inhomogeneities or impurities dispersers in the measuring medium so that a portion of the sound energy can be reflected. Doppler flow meters measure the frequency shift caused by the motion of particles in the fluid, used in applications where the fluid being measured is dirty or contains solids. Advantages There are several advantages to using ultrasonic flow meters, non-invasive, Ultrasonic flow meters do not require direct contact with the fluid being measured, which means there is no obstruction to the flow and no pressure drop. Reliable, ultrasonic flow meters have no moving parts and are not affected by changes in fluid density or viscosity, making them very reliable over time. Advantages, accurate, Ultrasonic flow meters can provide highly accurate measurements, with an accuracy of up to plus or minus 0.5% of the reading. Versatile, ultrasonic flow meters can be used to measure the flow rate of liquids, gases, and even slurries in a wide range of industries and applications. Operates in both flow directions, forward and reverse. Disadvantages, limited to clean fluids, transit time flow meters are limited to measuring clean fluids, as any suspended solids or bubbles in the fluid can interfere with the ultrasonic signal. Expensive, ultrasonic flow meters can be more expensive than other types of flow meters, which may make them less suitable for some applications. Limitations, Gas bubbles cause errors, errors due to deposits, unsuitable for heavily contaminated liquids, Doppler meters affected by sound velocity changes due to temperature, density and concentration. Installation requirements, require careful installation to ensure accurate readings. This may include the need for straight pipe runs before and after the meter, which can add to installation costs. The longest inlet or outlet run must be considered. Compliance with the following requirements for the inlet and outlet runs is recommended to ensure measuring accuracy. Ultrasonic flow meters are available in two variants. 1. Inline systems, 2. Clamp-on systems. Inline systems, in the inline design the ultrasonic transducers are mounted rigidly in the pipe wall and are directly or indirectly in contact with the measuring medium. These measuring systems can be calibrated and achieve a measuring accuracy of plus or minus 0.5% of rate and better. Clamp-on systems, the ultrasonic transducers are mounted on the outside of the piping. Selection of an ultrasonic flow meter can be based on several factors, including 1. Type of fluid Different types of ultrasonic flow meters may be more suitable for different types of fluids, such as liquids or gases, and may be optimized for specific applications such as water treatment or oil and gas production. Pipe Diameter Ultrasonic flow meters are available in different sizes to accommodate different pipe diameters, so it is important to select a flow meter that is appropriate for the size of the pipe being measured. Temperature and pressure. Ultrasonic flow meters may have different temperature and pressure ratings, so it is important to select a flow meter that can operate within the expected temperature and pressure ranges of the fluid being measured. 6. Mounting and installation requirements. 
the installation and mounting requirements for different ultrasonic flow meters may vary depending on the specific application. So it is important to select a flow meter that is compatible with the mounting. Option Temperature and pressure Ultrasonic flow meters may have different temperature and pressure ratings, so it is important to select a flow meter that can operate within the expected temperature and pressure ranges of the fluid being measured. 6. Mounting and installation requirements the installation and mounting requirements for different ultrasonic flow meters may vary depending on the specific application. So it is important to select a flow meter that is compatible with the mounting. Option Maintenance requirements Different ultrasonic flow meters may have different maintenance requirements, such as calibration or cleaning procedures, so it is important to select a flow meter that can be easily maintained and serviced. Ultrasonic flow meters have a wide range of applications in various industries, including oil and gas, chemicals, water and wastewater treatment, HVAC systems, pharmaceuticals. Thank you for watching this video.